Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Rex, I didn't clap this time. I didn't do it. Do you have a name? Uh, I'm Daniel. To the brand new yeah. people. <laughs> if you're new, they're gracing <laughs> us with their presence. I'm Daniel, and today is all about the Four Roses Single Barrel Bourbon. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Okay, so we're doing Four Roses Bourbon. It was a gift from someone whose name I cannot remember right now. This is definitely not the second time we're recording yeah, this. Yeah, definitely not. No. And uh, I still can't remember their name. We definitely, definitely didn't screw up the first time. No, we totally didn't. Uh, still can't remember their name. Okay, so what we're gonna do is an ounce of Four Roses Bourbon. Now this video is in honor of, I know, and then we're doing drugs. Uh, an ounce of Four Roses Bourbon. And uh, this is for Patron Saint Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie, this is for you. The Patron Saint of Whiskey. Patron Saint of Whiskey. I'm eyeballing the ounce uh, because I'm, I so, know where an ounce shows up on a Glencairn. It's not as scientific what, as it should be. No, no, what is the experiment trying to figure out? Okay, so here's the experiment. And then one, we're gonna review Four Roses Bourbon. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna drink it by itself first. And then we're gonna add water to take this from 50% down to 43, which means we'll add about six milliliters of water to a one ounce pour. That should take it to about 43% alcohol. And we're gonna do it. Charlie sent us limestone mixing, mixing water. water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put six milliliters of limestone in one glass and six milliliters of generic purified sparklets in the other glass, and we're gonna see, oh. does the limestone water, now the idea is, oh, okay. this is the kind of water that Kentucky bourbon's made with. Yeah. And so what they're saying is, if you're gonna water your bourbon, use the water they use to make the whiskey, mm. instead of just a distilled water. Okay. Right? So, um, or a purified water. So, A-B comparison. So we're gonna do an A-B comparison, for science. Four Roses uses, here's a cool thing, this is nerdy, two mash bills in five different yeast strains. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. I feel like now we're definitely in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. So you know when you wash your hair and you you don't no. put product in it? No. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it's just like floofy? Yeah. Sure. Does this bring back memories, Daniel? No. I don't want to think about it. I might start crying. I just want to... Yeah, I want to get a fan just to yeah. blow it. We'll get, we'll, oh, I've got to tell a story. We'll record it in slow motion. Just I've got to tell a story at some point. Okay, so Another story. it's a good story. You it's always not a hat. say. No, no, it's not a hat story. It's a story involving Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. I know okay. the story. That's a decent story. That's a decent story. Okay, so Four Roses Bourbon, um, they did a single barrel special edition release where they used a barrel from each of their 10 different options, two different mash bills, five different yeast strains. We ended up with about seven different bottles. This one is specifically Warehouse Ian Barrel 47-5D. Um, I'm not sure which combination of yeast strain and mash bill this is, but anyway. You could collect them, actually. So the Four Roses barrel itself, this Cherry is and vanilla. Brent Elliott as their current master distiller. He, oh Lord, you're the cousin it. Uh, uh, formerly was Jim Rutledge, that was the master distiller. And uh, the Frankfurt Distilling Company was our original company back in the day. Now on this, this I actually think the barrel, the uh, cask strength, single barrel, and I don't know if it's cast right. The single barrel for roses is a damn fine bourbon. I was promised science. Try it. What? I was promised Try it first. science. Bring me science. Try it first. You are running your damn mouth. To me, I've got a bourbon here that's 50% alcohol. There's it's maple syrup. Between your damn mouth and science. That's true. Maple syrup, it's fruit notes, it's um, not plum. So if you're picking fruit, I'm gonna put it in the Cherry and vanilla. Yeah, I was gonna go that direction, unfortunately, because I keep getting cherry and vanilla in these bourbons, but. I have come to the conclusion. Oh, 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 I really like that. Or, you, you had four roses. Yeah, but I'd forgotten what the single barrel is like. Okay, so now we're, wait, we're gonna have to share these because we're gonna do an experiment. Are you ready? Okay, with nothing in it, this is wonderful whiskey. It's oh, sweet. It's, it's the barrel is there, but it's not taking over. The sweetness isn't this saccharine. Is, it's not clingy. This is so many people's go-to whiskey. Time and time again, people are talking about their favorite bourbons. Oh, yeah. It's like four roses. It's uh, it's now the four roses generic is not nearly this interesting. Stop drinking. I've got to do measurements, and you keep fucking up my measurements. 
So I'm gonna ask you, nay, tell you to eat something. Can you imagine what that something is? No, you know what, I changed my mind. It's not a single thing. It's a bag of a thing. Can you imagine the bag of thing that I am telling you to eat right now? Uh, chocolate covered espresso beans. Is that a euphemism for <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> sure. Cause you eat a bag of <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> For you. I don't like it when you sneeze in the class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Rex got the generic sparklets water. Of course I did. I'm gonna put in mine the limestone water. Six milliliters, according to science. Julia Grabowski. I just found your channel two weeks ago and enjoy it. I have a newfound respect because you both like beam products and admit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we make horrible. You have a problem and you admit it. We make horrible whiskey. That's esters. the first step. Uh, two mini so-called whiskey experts, um, they snub their nose at the Jim Beam, and I feel Jim Beam is the foundation of my bourbon whiskey experience. When someone says it is, says it's good for a Jim Beam product, and then tell me Buffalo Trace is their go-to bourbon, I feel they are not tasting the bourbon, they are reading the label. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Take Very care. often. Keep up the good tasting. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. The water ad was so subtle, the nose is no different between them. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try both waters. Oh, okay. All right, so on your left is your sparklets, on your right is the limestone. See if you can tell the difference between those sips of water. Getting nothing on that one. <laughs> it's water, man. Uh, I'm just getting, oh. like the well, 2% more minerals. Yeah. You actually can taste a little it's, more minerals. It, it's very, very faint. And I would be interested to know if I could pick that out. Yeah, I if doubt- this was a blind taste. I doubt that we're gonna be able to pick this out in the whiskeys. <laughs> okay, but maybe, try it, does, those maybe and, it does some magical thing. Try those and see what you think, and then I'm gonna try them. Can you tell the difference? I can tell as much difference in the whiskeys as I could in the water. It's, and it may, yeah. it, it may be so close that again, it may be my imagination. There's a very real chance that we're fooling ourselves here. Yes, but but I feel like the mineral one is a little more, a little bit, a little bit more minerals, a little bit more minerals. Um, is it worth paying seventeen dollars for a is bottle of limestone they, water? They call it mixing water, limestone water. Yeah, but you know the I don't here, know. if you ever drink like hard water, you, you sense that miner mineralization in the water. Yep, you can even get it even if you run it through your fridge and the fridge filters. Yeah, and then soft water, you can absolutely <laughs> tell the difference between soft water and hard water. Yes, you can. Uh, and the taste, again, it only feels like just single digit we're, yeah, difference. We're talking under 10% variation. Right. And if you didn't know and someone just swapped your glasses, you'd have no idea. If you were not actively paying attention. Yeah, you'd have no idea anything changed. Right. Peter Schumacher. Mm. Uh, you're, Peter. You're talking about the, the leather. <laughs> whose profile keeps changing of different photos of, of you and, and you. The most awkward moments of every video. <laughs> um, you're talking about Longmorn, mm -hmm. one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Talking about the leather you like. And, yeah. Um, and, and then they're on the bottom of the bottle. That's right. There's leather. There's leather on the bottom. Daniel's used to feeling leather on his bottom. Yeah, I knew that was the one you were going with. <laughs> but, um, uh, okay, so if I, wait, wait. if I exist in the dad joke category, Rex exists in the junior high locker room category. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, somebody said, man, like Rex should do some story time. I mean, time. tube socks and Rex should do Rex should do some <laughs> story time too. I was like, my story time would just be dirty limericks. Yeah. Robert Osprey. I oh, you know what? Speaking to my soul on this one. Mm. Speaking to my soul. It's found a toast especially for Rex. May the winds of fortune sail you. Oh, I put this in one of the other day's comments. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drink's, drink's on, on me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Right. That is the true mooch toast. Uh, All right, so what's your opinion of Four Roses in general? Forget the water experimentation. Yeah. Just as a bourbon, Four Roses single barrel, yes or no? Uh, yeah. Me too. Yeah, I'm yeah. in. And let us know in the comments. Uh, Four roses, yay or nay? I'm thinking there's probably gonna be a lot of a lot of yay, but the people that say nay, let us know why, because now, this is a pretty go-to. I will tell you, once we watered it down, all the interesting complexity vanished. The Mighty Invader. Daniel and his ability to wear nice hats. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really new one. Dude, when you don't have hair, your options are very limited. 
If, if God took away from me my hair and my ability to wear hats, that's just outright cruel. You want to touch it? No. You want to get in there? No, I really don't. If I do, this is going to be a memory I'll never be able to erase <laughs> from my mind. And it'll be connected to texture at the same time. It's really like, soft. Where I just ran my hand through Rex's hair. It's no, That's just something you can't undo. There's no product or anything. No, no, it's no. Just, Here's the just... thing. This is going to be one of those moments where it's like, you remember Friends? You ever watch Friends yeah. back in the day? Yeah, yeah. You remember the episode where they all come back from vacation at the beach and none of them can look at each other? <laughs> <laughs> and it's because one of them had to pee on Phoebe's leg because she got stung by a... I... I so this, if, I, if I ever actually ran my hand through your hair, that would be, it might be the end of the show. Like, and within 30 minutes, we're not going to be able to look each other in the eye yeah, again. I have to admit, that would be an amazing way to go out. <laughs> We're at the final episode. He's just getting like, in there and we're like, oh yeah. And we look to the camera. And we're like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> this is over. <laughs> it's over. We're done. Here's to uh, fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with, with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below. 